So, let's take a walk through history, and I will tell you what the Discovery Channel will not. Let's start with the Alsace mission, entering Paris with several objectives. One was the French nuclear scientist Julie Curie, and discover a lead from here to Belgium, to the Union Mine du Haut Katang, the prime supplier of uranium ore located near Brussels, where apparently large stocks of refined uranium ore was located. But also, the Alsace team learned that the Auer Gesellschaft in Germany, the German chemical company involved in securing and processing uranium, had taken over the French company, Tres Reis, during the occupation. Strangely, Auer had shipped Tres Reis massive supply of thorium to Germany, and Germany wanted the thorium suggested that their atomic research was far further advanced than previously thought. The Alsace team converged on the Tres Reis office. They found it empty. Dr. Peterson, an our company chemist involved in securing this uranium and the thorium supplies, had fled already. So, the Alsace team went to Belgium, weaving through the battle lines, and here they found 70 tons of refined uranium ore, and discovered that Germans had removed a thousand tons since 1940. Much of this the Germans had stored in a warehouse near Toulouse, where Pache found it. However, he had to remove it without the free French knowing, and he did so. He sent it back with the Red Ball Express, and on to the U.S. In his memoirs, Pache later notes that this uranium was used in the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. This begins to clarify why and how the Manhattan Project despite its vast resources until then, still was low on uranium. Suddenly now managed to have enough stocks for multiple bombs. The other side of this was that the Germans apparently had so much uranium, they could leave this enormous stock in a warehouse in France without even needing it for their nuclear research or programs. And later I will remind you of what the Soviets found in Berlin.